Welcome to Willow's World of DIY. I'm Willow, and today I'm going to show you guys how I built a router jig for cutting circles for, to make my cornhole boards. And uh, I make, you know, any kinds of, any size of circles, and it also cuts arches. So this is the jig I made for it, the new one, and it goes all the way up to 42 inch circle, if you guys can see it. So I can cut from 2 inch to a 42 inch circle and arches with this jig. So it doesn't have to be cornhole board circles, just, you know, whatever circles you want to make. Let's get to it. I start off by removing the base plate on my router so I can mark the holes onto my uh, piece of plywood. This is a piece of quarter inch plywood, 24 inches long by five and a half inches wide. And I use a 3 16 drill bit to drill out the holes. And then I use a countersink bit so the screws will set flush in the plywood. Now I'm mounting the plywood to the router base. I'm using a half inch router bit. This is a plunge cut router base and I'm just plunging my half inch router bit through the quarter inch piece of plywood. I use a tape measure and measure from the outside cutting edge of the router bit and I mark every one inch. And then I use my precision ruler from the inside cutting edge of the router bit and mark every half inch and just double, double check all my marks to make sure they're precise. Now I'm removing the quarter inch piece of plywood so I can drill all my holes. I got a brass rod that's roughly 7 seconds in diameter and I cut it to about 3 8 long and I'm using a 7 seconds drill bit to drill my holes. The first hole I drill is one inch from the outside cutting edge of the router bit and then I drill every half inch. Once I have all my holes drilled I place the piece of brass rod in a pair of vice grips and I hammer it into each hole so it will slide into these holes easily. Now I'm numbering each hole so I know what the diameter or circle each hole makes. And every half inch equals one inch in a circle. So this jig will cut circles from two inch all the way to 42 inch circles. I mount the jig back on my router with the numbers facing the router. I drill a 7 seconds hole into a piece of wood that I want to router circles in and then I hammer in my brass pin and this way I can adjust whatever size hole I want to cut into this piece of wood with the jig. And I made it this way with the brass pin because when you're cutting the 4 and 5 inch circles those locations are right under your router base and you can't actually get a screw through there. So the brass pin makes it so you can just set it in there. And here you can see I cut a two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, and six inch circle. And I'm just checking the dimensions to make sure they're accurate. You can also cut arches with this jig. In this case, I wanna cut a six inch arch so I place the brass pin at the 12 inch circle location on the jig and that will cut a six inch arch. I hope you all enjoyed building this router jig with me. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. Thanks for watching Willow's World of DIY. Until next time.